Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another episode of the 8 Morning 92 Podcast, where we always keep it 100. You heard none of them sound effects, did you? Nah. Hey. Oh, then how you coming, Glock? Pause. Okay. It's the 8 Morning 92 Podcast. You know how we do. We always keep it 100. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the 8 Morning 92 Podcast, where we always keep it 100. I am your host, Harrison. For another episode of the 8 Morning 92 Podcast. And, you know, I told y'all by the time that we shoot this next video, we was probably going to be over a 1,000 subscribers. And... I told y'all that was going to be shirt off season. So, you know, when I told when the episode started, it was going to be shirt off. You know, we going to be on our Gucci band shit. You know, I'm going to take my shirt off and, you know, some people going to start breathing. But what I did not count on is between me filming this last episode and now we would be at 2,000 subscribers. So that's an extra thousand. So I didn't bet on the extra thousand. So with that being said, for everybody that was ready to see me take my shirt off, I'm sorry I didn't count on the extra thousand, so the shirt gonna stay on. But uh glad to be back. I want to take this time to thank everybody. You know, y'all are the reason to get this first round of applause. This is for y'all, man. You know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To everybody for their continued support of the Eight More Nine Two podcast since its inception. And I want to take this time to really, 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 really tell y'all that I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. For everybody that's followed the channel, support it from the ground up, especially for the YouTube page, because people know that YouTube is its own like demon, like it's its own, it's its own minefield of trying to get subscribers, trying to get people to, you know, kind of watch and do everything for you and follow the page and get traction. Um, what did kind of help is I had semi kind of local, I ain't gonna say viral because viral is I guess in the millions, but local video with the whole Kendrick Lamar thing. And between that and just some, just putting out content and stuff like that, we were able to hit the goal that I set. You know, I said it by around this time last year. I said by the time this year I want to be at least a thousand s- subscribers. And thankfully, we were able to hit two thousand. So not only did y'all help me hit my dreams. Or hit my goals, not my dreams. Y'all hit me, helped me hit my goals. It helped me su- surpass them. And it just kind of goes to the testament, just how I work in general. I don't just want to set a goal. I want to ch- achieve more than that. I want to surpass that and keep going so I don't get complacent at it. And that's just how I've always been. So I kind of felt like, you know, that was a good embodiment of the 8192 podcast of James Michael Harrison Jr. Just to always just never be satisfied with just enough. Go get better than so I wanted to take this time to thank everybody for uh, helping me hit that goal. And it's just going up from there. So, you know, my goal, goal, goal is to get one of those plaques from YouTube saying you've reached this amount of subscribers for YouTube. And, hey, that will be a goal. Live show with actual audience, that will be a goal. Just kind of like, you know, taking those steps in the right direction to making this one of like one of the goats. Speaking of goats, though, I feel like, you know, it, it's no no way to beat around the bush. I will say, you know, since I've come back, you know, I've tried to take things slow. I didn't want to kind of get overworked or kind of get overwhelmed. That, and along with some personal things, are the reason why I felt like I had to take a break from the last time I was doing uh, podcasts. And so I, I know you, a lot of people know it hasn't been like a consistent schedule, and that's just pur- purposeful. Um, I feel that, you know, like I just trying to ease into it. But by doing that, since I'm not on a set date, I'm able to not rush to kind of do things when things kind of react and um, news breaks or breaking news kind of happens. And so when I was supposed to record Sunday, Thankfully, I didn't record Sunday. When I was supposed to record Sunday, I was going to report on um, J. Cole dropping. I may delete this, which worked out perfectly because uh, if y'all remember the last episode, you know, I called Mar- uh, Kendrick Lamar and Mario Chalmers, you know, and um, I felt like it was fitting. I mean, people forget Mario Chalmers did have a 25 point game, but, you know, Chalmers got slapped in the back of the head by LeBron. Chalmers was a little, little brother. Nothing wrong with being Mario Chalmers, Kendrick. You are what you are. Accept it. Shut up. But 
in that time, J. Cole dropped a very, very good, I want to call it EP, I guess, um, what called I May Delete. On that, he decided to respond to Kendrick Lamar on Seven Minute Drill or Seven Minutes. And obviously, you know, everybody just went to that song immediately. But I'll give him this. Prior, before I give my take on the, the disc, I give him this. The body of work was very, very good and refreshing to hear that type of cold. It was very good to see, hear him sound inspired and hear him, you know, get back in the booth and making songs to where it seems like you're going on uh, a cruise versus kind of going on a Rocky Mountain. And I feel like because he was just so talented rapping, he would just pick beats that he would just rap over and kind of like, oh, I can do this over whatever, but kind of disregarded the audience that's listening to whatever he's doing. And he would just kind of just make songs and just kill the rap verse. But the, the beat or whatever be so annoying, you don't even really care about what he's talking about. So with this, everything kind of was cohesive. So I, I like that. But let's get to what everybody wanted to know. He dropped the diss track seven minutes and he said what he had to say about Kendrick. And for 45 hours, 38 minutes, Cole was in number two. I'm talking about Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick. Damn. You know, Cole came up there. He took a light jab, but the jab is what he's saying. He was letting them know like I, the perception was. I got that, you know, I got some more bars and everything ready for if you want to go. But it seemed like even when you initially heard it, that it was a friendly spar. Like, if you want to do this, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fight you, but if you want to, we can take it there. And so, you know, he he basically says a lot of things, at least myself, and a lot of people that have said things similar to me have said. And that's basically that um, to pimp a butterfly and the mass step no nah, i think it's um mass step whatever the, the stunkle album is what i call it uh just weren't like great bodies work they were okay you know but they weren't as far as like good kid mad city and you have of course it's like you know i'm a drake fan you know i i get i get i get what people are expecting when you are a fan fan of your artist you you want to sit there and you want to, you know, hype everything or do whatever you want to do. You want to sit there and act like they put out the best body of work that you can see. But in reality, if you're just a casual, casual fan, like a people are of Drake, when they just listen to the radio hits and you're not going into the cuts and everything, you ain't trying to hear all this shit. I don't need to hear about you having a coop from All American as your auntie. I don't need to hear about you having Henry from BMF raise you how to hit people with a flamethrower if people ain't seen the latest episode. But Cole said what he said, and I ain't going to lie, man. I said, talk your shit. Talk your shit, Jermaine. Talk your shit. 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 And then I realized Sunday... Was it Sunday or Monday when I realized it? It was Monday. So I forget to record on Sunday. So I get Monday. I check my phone and stuff for Twitter. And I'm just like, you know, I see a lot of J. Cole in my mentions. I'm like, dang, did something else happen? You know, and I see like, you know, a lot of head shaking emojis. I knew Dreamville's up there. I saw Schoolboy Q and I saw all those people up there. So I'm thinking something could have happened. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you all what I saw. Moving incorrectly. And I pray. That God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep. And then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. Now, I had no idea that Ruben Stutter had lost 2,000 pounds and became light-skinned with dirty-ass dreads. But if this ain't the most tender shit I've ever seen in my motherfucking life, ain't no way in hell. Let me just start this off before I'm going to go back to this point right here. Aubrey Drake Graham would never... 
never 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 would i did it never would i said it never 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 ne never nigga never 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 apologize for no bullshit like that jermaine what the fuck is you doing i can't even call you j cole no more for that shit like i get it first off and and it's cool y'all homies y'all this and that i understand the apology and all that shit tell that nigga sorry in private okay don't come out here and just you t your album was called i might delete shit i might delete that shit too because i can't even sit there and just get on board with all that shit the music is good now or i don't even want to hear you talk that number one talk i want to hear you talk that top dog shit no more i don't hear i need you to talk like a role play yourself you're a supporting cast member yourself because you don't need to talk like a talk top dog when you ain't got top dog mentality all this shit about snipers and all this shit about big as the super bowl nigga you the pro bowl you flag football type shit nigga you you the shit that like motherfuckers do before the interaction you the tailgate my nigga you out in the parking lot type shit playing uh what is it cornhole type shit that that's type shit you on because that's the type of shit niggas do who apologize all right don't you ever go up on no motherfucking stage and concede to a motherfucker talking about man this is what i get it cool you can say it kind of took me to a spot you can say this and that Fuck all that nigga do that to yourself somebody should have pulled them mics like ma said on rory and ma somebody should have pulled them motherfucking mics somebody should have tackled your ass like they try to do dave Chappelle. somebody should have walked up on stage before you said that shit slapped the shit out of you you was talking like you was born again christian again uh born again christian i don't know if it's ramadan i don't know if you about to say you you know got a new religion i don't know what the fuck was going on but the neighbors don't seem like they the only one it sound like you was these neighbors selling dope sound like you was smoking the dope i don't know what's going on here but from this point on i don't ever want to hear you talk about yourself you need to take your ass where most deaf is you need to take your ass where lupe fiasco is you need to take your ass with all them other talented creative rappers at and stay in your good ass mind space and be up there giving people them 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 Wiz khalifa it's all good brother vibe stay the fuck over there all right and when it come to this top dog shit you 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 leave that to aubrey all right and you know i i'll say this the only thing i had was you know this is the only gripe i've had i mean i've had other gripes but you know like you know charlamagne big big fan especially from the podcast space with billion it is because watching his stuff i want to make sure i say this you know he what well, a lot of what he does inspires myself maybe other podcasters to do podcasting now because they were in this space first like joe budden uh chris uh i mean chris l and um uh kid fury and all them from the read but uh you know i will say this the platform charlemagne guy is hyping y'all up to sit there of course he cole didn't believe it cole believe that shit all right charlemagne you sounded like a uh, a fan talking about you gonna want to go back and listen to pimp a butterfly and the kid or whatever masked up the coop album like ain't nobody about to go back and listen to that shit if you wasn't already rocking with it all right what was i doing when them albums came out was what a time to be alive probably came out yes i think that's when pimp a butterfly came out we was talking about drugs we was talking about getting lit we was talking about popping pills we was talking about, i ain't trying to be talking about no martin luther king shit i'm not trying to sit up here and turn the other cheek nigga I'm out here pour another drink ain't nobody no ain't nobody about to go back and listen to that because that's where you at it's jay-z four 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 album i'm not at where jay-z at where he out here got caught cheating by his wife now he got to have a sitting here have a revelation and then he want to talk about mozart patents all this other bullshit. i don't give a fuck about that it's like i can't tell nobody who ain't really a drake fan to go back and listen to views if that wasn't you or listen to the more life playlist and see how that age from now that's not what you do you got to catch it when it's in that vibe or in this in that wave i mean there's plenty of stuff i mean of course we all go back and listen to music over time but no that don't make you what you are from that time no we are kendrick's uh contemporaries as far as fan contemporaries right now we're all in that age and them albums was straight up ass you know what i'm saying them albums was dookie butter compared to damn and uh good kid mad city them motherfuckers sucked all right so we talking about the classic bard or whatever that nigga shooting 50 percent. if we was going on a scale of grades that nigga got an album catalog of a f all right 
So he lucky I gave him Mario Chalmers. At least I gave him a nigga with a ring. All right. I could have said Darko or something like that. But y'all niggas, uh -uh. Jermaine, no. So I want to take this time to formally kick them. Actually, you know, before I do that, and for all the niggas that got something to say about like what Aubrey do or some shit like that, like Aubrey would fucking never, Drizzy would never sit there and apologize to a motherfucker. He done got cool with people all backstage, brought their ass up on stage after he fired their ass up on the track. And everybody always want to call this nigga a pop star. So I wanted to like just let people know all the shit that y'all want to say. Just say that y'all ain't fan of just say that he done dish your favorite rapper. He got more bars than the nigga that you want to be number one. Why he's still singing? Because I wanted to just go ahead and just name all of the diss tracks that he got. And other than the Pusha T, nobody's topped the Pusha T song with Kanye snitch with his fat ass. Nobody's topped what we got back to back. Charged up. Duffy. Stay scheming. 4 p.m. in Calabasas, 6 p.m. in New York, 5 a.m. in Toronto, Do Not Disturb, 8 a.m. in Charlotte, 7, 7 a.m. on Bridal Down Path, Churchill Down, Middle of the Ocean, Red Button. Them was just the quick ones I, like, you know, looked up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fucking diss tracks, all right? We know what he said to stay scheming. We know how it ended with Meek. Meek had to apologize, ruin that whole motherfucker career. Now this motherfucker up on uh Twitter all day battling his sexuality for Diddy. Talking about it's affecting his son because his son got to go to school and defend his two fathers. You feel what I'm saying? Don't ever put your name in the conversation with Aubrey. Neither one of you two cock motherfuckers ever put your name in the conversation with Aubrey. And Kendrick, you really should be more thankful to Aubrey as it is because Aubrey put you on your first tour the to even get niggas to know your name what did you say your exact words yourself you went from touring with two thousand people maybe to going on that uh, club paradise tour with drake and now all of a sudden you torn from two thousand to fifteen thousand people and if we be in 100 the height of kendrick career is nothing without drake or young money because poetic justice uh what is it first person shooter and then you had to hop on a Wayne beat for hard body, uh, just to come at come at the boy, come at six guy. Come on now, bro. Look, like I said, Drake has carried you. Drake and Young Money, Wayne has carried you your entire career. They really, you really making the West Coast look bad because without that nigga from a whole different country, nigga, what can you do on your own? You looking like that nigga off when you was on power, smacked up on Sherman Hemsley. You feel me? So. I just want to take this time to formally remove these two niggas out the top conversation. And we're going to put two other niggas that's been quiet in there that know they place at two and three and don't even have to worry about it because they come. We're going to bring in Wale and we're going to bring in Big Sean. Consistent people who stay what they're doing, put out good music, put out lyrics, put out bars, and constantly overlook for this pussy ass bullshit. So Wale, Bolarn, Big Sean, Mr. Wodair. Boy, y'all are number two and three. Don't give a fuck what it is. That is a new pecking order. Or the top three is Drake, two, three, Wale, and Big Sean. Big Sean, Wale, don't matter. But these two friendly, scissoring ass niggas got to be removed from up out of there just for this shit alone. Can't do it no more. Judge is spoken. I get my decree. Aubrey will fucking never. Don't speak on my man's name no more. Please don't even don't even compare at this point, Drake. Don't even put a response out because no, just let it go. Or when you do, or when he does put this response out, now I'll put you this. I ain't got bang handle no time scale table of uh and of course I'll say that. J. Cole is still tremendously talented, so I don't get that shit confused. Kendrick is still tremendously talented. Don't get that shit confused. But stop it. The top, the top spot is done. It's Drake. It's over. Like it's no longer a conversation. I'm not even gonna entertain it no more. You can say what you want to. La 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 la. Oh, he had to write this, 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 this. Well, I bet you I'm gonna tell you something he didn't write. Well, also something he didn't write. That goddamn apology. He ain't have a ghostwriter lie. Put that up in that motherfucker. So um 
as big as it gets yeah j cole that's as big as it fucking gets i, I don't want to hear shit else you it's certain lines you can't even say in your rap some more you kind of fucked yourself up on that one so yeah man that is um that is what happens when you just kind of sit back and let everything kind of unfold and gave me something really good to sit here and talk about so um Let's move on. I found before we, you know, get this a short episode this week. Don't worry, people. I ain't going to keep you up too long. You know, I was about to show this clip, but I probably might save it for another episode. I feel like 20 minutes, 22 minutes, whatever. I spent the whole time talking about them, and this be only for a couple minutes. I'm probably going to save it to where, you know, I do an episode about that whole topic. This clip is it. I'm going to end it kind of right here. If I don't want to like a good little funny rant, um, I appreciate everybody hanging with me. Thank you so much again for getting us to 2,000 subscribers. Y'all really don't know what that means to me. Um, I appreciate, you know, it just kind of shows the dedication, the hard work, and the commitment, and the focus I put in. And um, I couldn't have done this without everybody, so I thank y'all for taking the chance on me. Thank y'all for listening to my words. Thank y'all for believing in my vision. And thank y'all for continuing to, you know, be my guide and light to get back up if I feel like I'm down. I appreciate everybody up. Uh, if y'all want to get in contact with me, make sure y'all hit up the Instagram page, hit the link in the bio, or you can go to our YouTube page where it has all of our um, contacts of how to get in touch with us. You can also hit us on all our streaming sites, which also has all of our contacts to hit us up. If you want to set up, have any questions that you want to ask, ask on the show, just hit me up on the 8 morning 92 podcastcom And, you know, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Just remember, whenever in doubt, you don't hug shit out. Aubrey would never. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another episode of the 8 Morning 92 podcast where we always keep it 100. You heard none of them sound effects, did you? Oh, then how you coming, Glow? Okay. It's the 8 Morning 92 podcast. You know how we do. We always keep it 100. Who, who, who? Yeah, yeah.